Welcome back YouTube. I'm going to show you how you can send a 3D photo to your Evo 3D if you have one. <clears throat> First thing you're going to do is that you cannot send it from your phone because uh, the message is not supported when you send it. So you need to plug your phone into your phone or into your computer and go to the, the disk drive. And this is a live screenshot of my phone. I'll show you real quick. Drop down the menu and you want to click on the disk drive. Click there and this menu should pop up. Go to disk drive and then just hit done. And then a little while later, this should pop up on your computer. What you want to do is go to the DCIM photo folder. Click on that. And I got different folders here. Normally you'll go to 100 media. Click on that. And then anything that says MPO on it, all these MPO images are all 3D. Just so you know. So we'll just take uh, the 3D Taco Bell sign. <clears throat> for instance, and we will drag it over here onto my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And the next thing you want to do is launch your browser and go to your Google account. I already have a photo in there, but I'll show you anyway. Go ahead and compose mail and just send it to you want to. I will send it to my phone and to myself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put those two in there. And attach the file and all you're going to do is do Taco Bell let the photo update or uh, upload itself on there <clears throat> you need to go on your phone now I'll just take mine off of disk drive and put it back onto regular charge only right here and you'll see and then I'll just hit done <clears throat> you cannot use your gmail app if you have one uh, for instance I have the gmail app you cannot check your email with that when you get it. It will not show the file. I'll show you that just here in a second. As soon as it uploads, there you go. Hit send. And no body, no text. And there you go. It's sent. And I'll show you real quick. I should get an email alert up here in a second. But you'll go right onto the, the Gmail app. <clears throat> and you'll see I already have a 3D photo in there. If you click on the email, on the attachment, it will say preview. Uh, if you hit preview, it won't show anything at all. Fetching the attachment, and well, there's no way you can actually look at it. So we'll get off of that and go back out of here. <clears throat> now you gotta go launch your internet browser and go to gmail.com. Mine will already be up as soon as I launch it on here. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So wait for that to load real quick, and when your email pops up, just go ahead and click on your 3D photo. Uh, right off here to the side, go ahead and click on my inbox, and wait for the next page to pop up. Okay. I don't want to learn about anything right now, so I'll just cancel that out. Uh, if you notice on here, as opposed to the app, it actually says you can download the image. So you just go ahead and click download image, and the image will start downloading here in a second. Now, what I told you before of why you can't send the message and through a message you can't do that I heard there's apps and stuff out there that you can send it through but I have not heard of one yet uh, just for I'm not sure if it'll actually work on here but I'll go ahead and go to my gallery and we'll just back out of that I'll go ahead and click on 3D pictures and videos and scroll down through all mine right here's a Taco Bell sign I doubt it'll pop up for uh, oh there you go you can see it's a little distorted um, looks clear on mine. This is just a, a screenshot onto here of what it actually shows, but it looks it looks good. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna show you too is if you want to share it with other people that don't have a 3D phone, just go to your internet and go to a, a website called 3dporch.com. And click on that, and you can upload your files right here. Choose a file to upload. I'm not gonna do it, but you can. And it'll show these. This is the website for it. If you go ahead and click on, we'll just click on the first one and you can download the MPO file and uh, for somebody that has for instance you that has the Evo 3D you go ahead and click on that this will pop up go ahead and right click save image as and you'll notice that it says MPO file meaning you can download that and it'll come out to an MPO file uh, we'll go ahead and click back on that for somebody that doesn't have one you get the wiggle image which is what this looks like bounces between the two camera shots you can get the red this one which uh, you usually see in 3D movies in the old days and then cross side which would be like this 
and the other one that would be, well, it doesn't show. But that's the website you can go to. It's called 3D Porch. I'll post a link below. Choose a file, and then we can see your 3D pictures you've taken. Uh, I hope this video was a little informal for you guys. And please comment and hit the thumbs up button. I don't ask you to subscribe to my videos, but if you could just give a thumbs up and a comment, that would be great. You can give me any suggestions you have for any videos that you'd like to know how to on your Android phones, and I'll do my best. I do not do any rooting videos, so please do not ask me to show you how to root your phone because I will not do it. Thank you.